Okay, so coming to cement and concrete, it's used in construction on a large scale. We know where cement and concrete are used. They're used everywhere. That is like uh, the basis of our, the foundation of our civilization today is on cement and concrete. Where who you are today as a world or as a civilization because of, of concrete. So it's cement is a mixture of a combination of lime, silica, alumina, which sets, sets meaning it hardens when mixed with water. Concrete is sand and stones aggregate held together by cement. That's what concrete is. All this is ceramic. We have the ceramic tiles. We're always talking about ceramic tiles, porcelain. Whether it's porcelain or ceramic, porcelain is just another type of a ceramic. Okay. Uh, so all those also fall under ceramics. Ceramics are also used in uh, in uh, in electricals. If you look at the pores closely, even when you go to the the, the substation, there's a lot of those brown discs like that. Uh, Dark brown, that is actually ceramics also. They are also used actually in, 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 in electrical. Abrasive ceramics are used to wear, grind, or cut away other material which is softer. So they are also used as cutting materials or, or abrasive materials. Okay, so what do you need? When you're looking for an abrasive material, you're looking for something that is hard, wear resistant, and is able to withstand high temperatures. So they qualify. Examples are silicon carbide, tungsten carbide, aluminum oxide, and silica sand. So sand is also used commonly in industry. Okay, where you need something to be abraded or worn out, you use sand usually. And also in the water treatment industry, sand is used also for other for some of its other properties. Sand actually is, is a ceramic also. I think we'll end here. Uh, read through polymers in your own time. I think we have just a few slides there on polymers. It's not much, but please just read through and it's easy to understand material. So you just basically need to know the type, the methods there of extraction or, in, or production of polymer products. So there's extrusion and uh, injection molding, so you just need to know the types, okay, and be able to briefly explain compression molding, blow molding, injection molding. So you just need to know those types, briefly be able to explain these types of molds. And that's it on, on polymers. We'll not do much there. So I think we can end here. I hear there's, there's a request that others are writing what was uh, test and whatnot. Uh, so we'll end here. So I already gave you the topics for the test. So you'll be writing your test. Do 10 to 12. Somewhere there, isn't it? According to your timetable, that's where that's the time that you're going to have the test on Friday. Yes, madam. Uh -huh. Is it 10 to 12? 10 to 12, huh? Yes, madam. Okay. All right, so it will be a two hour test. Make sure you're there on time. Okay, be try and be there on time so that you 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 that you you are able to write within the two hour range that has been provided for the test. Unless otherwise I decide to cut it at one hour thirty, but uh, I've not I've not yet decided on the timing, but uh, maximum obviously will be two hours. It won't go more than two hours. But just be there on time so that if it's two hour test, you're able to write within that two hour limit. If it's one hour 30, well and good. But just be there on time so that you start together with everyone else. All right, so I'll not waste any more of your time. Uh, wishing you all the best today. Thank you very much, madam. All right. Thank you, madam. All right, thank you. Have a good day, everyone.